Hola amigos, de nuevo, saludos desde Medellín. Hoy, algunas parables y oraciones muy útiles para nuestro día a día. Y especialmente, recuerdo el video de ayer, um, cuando yo visité el supermercado, algo para ayudar a ustedes ya en el supermercado. Y también para mostrar un ejemplo cómo puede utilizar preguntas para pide la ayuda con la gente en el submercado en una forma que tú puedes practicar poner preguntas. And that's the theme for today. So, hello again. Here we are, back in Medellin. And the theme today, we're going to give you, you some sort of day-to-day -day words and phrases that are quite practical, but also I'm going to show you how we can ask maybe a series of questions that perhaps you wouldn't think to use in a very normal sort of situation, in this case, at the supermarket. Because remember yesterday, I was doing some shopping in the supermarket and it reminded me that that actually is quite a good place to practice asking questions. Because the good people that work in the supermarkets are there to help you. They're, they're there to help you with recommendations, they'll help you try and find things, particularly, because you can never find what you're looking for there, right? Um, so that's what we're going to practice today. We are going to practice a series of questions that you can try next time you're in the supermarket to ask one of the assistants there for some help to find a particular thing. This way you get to practice asking questions. Um, Obviously, you get a practice listening to whatever the answers they got. So it's a good way of getting yourself past that barrier of, oh, no, I need to speak. Because once we get over that fear and we get used to, oh, excuse me, can I ask you a question? Sorry, I need your help with this. Um, all these, the more we practice that, the easier that gets. And then we get into the more interesting bit of ask the question, get the information back, and then we share the conversation with the person we're talking to, yeah? So this is a way to help us get past that initial fear of, oh no, I don't want to ask, it's going to be difficult. So, some things to remember with this. Partly, treat it more like a game. Um, don't worry too much, not to get too seriously, but the idea really is get the name of the person that you're going to talk to if you can, either ask them their name or in supermarkets you can cheat a bit because often they're wearing a big badge with their name on so I mean, that's a bit of a clue but um, if you need to just say hello ask them their name um, so you need their help with something tell them you're looking for something and see if they can show you where that is that's the idea of what we're going to try and do so I've made up a dialogue here so I've made up a name of the assistant who's going to help me it gives you an idea of oh, I'm going to ask for balsamic vinegar now you know, it's an unusual sort of product, should be in an average supermarket, but it's the kind of thing you can never find, because like, well, it could be with this, it could be over there. Um, so it's a reasonable question to ask for. Yeah. It's not an impossible product, but it's a difficult one to find. So let's, let's see how I do it. So I'm going to ask their name, tell them I need their help, ask what I'm looking for, and remember at the end to thank them for their help. Okay, let's see how it goes. So, I'm in the supermarket, I see the assistant, I can see the name badge. So, I'm going to cheat a little bit, because I can see the badge, I see the name. So, hi, Karen, Karen, hi. Um, Karen, they, um, your colleagues, or they, over there, your colleagues, tell me that you know, you know where everything is here. Is that right? She's like, well, it's just that I need your help, Karen. Um, can you tell me, where are you hiding? Where is, I can't find it. Where are you hiding? Where are you hiding the balsamic vinegar? Can you show me? Okay, so it's a nice informal way 
of saying, you're making a joke about it, really. Where are you hiding? I mean, clearly she's not hiding the stuff. It's just like we're asking generally. Where are you hiding the uh, balsamic vinegar, Karen? Can you show me? So hopefully she'll take you to where the stuff is. Um, and then you can ask for like a recommendation. Oh, I see. Okay. Is, is this the best brand? Is this the best one? Is this the best brand? It's just that it's for a new recipe I'm trying. Hopefully then you get a recommendation. Oh yeah, this is the best one. I use that. This one I buy for my mom, something like that. You say, oh great. Thanks, Karen. You've been a great help. So here we do it. Now you made a nice connection. Yeah, they feel good about it. They've helped you out. You've got to practice several questions and you're listening each time to their instructions, either because, oh, it's over there, or come with me, I'll show you. Um, or yeah, this is the best brand. This is one I recommend. I, I've used this. This is good. Something like that. And we're going to remember to say thank you. So next time you go, now you've got someone else you can ask questions of. Much easier, yeah? Okay? So something like that. When you see who they are, if you, don't, if you can't read the name badge, just say, Hi, um, your colleagues tell me that uh, you know where everything is here. Um, I need your help. Well, sorry, what's your name? Remember, you need to interrupt them politely. Sorry, what's your name? Tell me your name. Hi, uh, Karen, look, I really need your help, Karen. Um, where, are, where are you hiding the balsamic vinegar? I'll make a joke of it, because everyone is lost in these supermarkets. Where are you hiding the balsamic vinegar? Can you show me? Okay, great. So we're going to look for it, see the bottle on the shelf. All oh, right, okay, so is this the best brand? Is this the best one? It's for a new recipe I'm trying. See if you get a further recommendation or some other way for it to say, yeah, no, look, this is the, definitely the best one, that, or it's on offer, or uh, yeah, this one I've used, something like that. And you say, thanks. Thanks, Karen. You've been a great help. Thank you so much. There we go. Okay. Something to try next time you're in the supermarket. Look for something. It doesn't have to be balsamic vinegar, but that's a good kind of test. <laughs> um, Dejeme saber en los comentarios how you get on. Hopefully you make lots of new friends. And if you do meet Karen, um, say hello from me and um, send our regards. So for now, at least from Medellin, cheerio.